What's good, sports gamers? And with a new Madden, of course, it's time for another batch of sleeper players to show you guys for you to get your hands on in franchise mode. And today, we're going to start with the quarterbacks. So, right, let's get it. Sports Gamers Online is the number one source for the sports gamer. Coming in at number 10 on our top 10 sleeper quarterbacks list is Cardell Jones. The major problem you have to worry about in building up Jones is his accuracy is terrible. He has 74 short, 68 mid, and 67 deep throw accuracy, which are all well below average. And while you may hold your breath every time he tries to throw into a tight window, he has numbers for you to work with. With his 96 throw power, which shows he has deep ball potential if you want to go that route, and also above average speed and acceleration rates to go along with a pretty basic 81 throw on the run rate. So play action rollout, scrambles out of the pocket, and a deep ball should be his strength to start. He shouldn't be too hard to get in regular team leagues as I'm sure Chargers owners will be interested in other quarterbacks to use. So Jones services should be pretty easy to get if you like the deep ball and a fairly fast QB can make plays out of the pocket. At number 9 is Kyle Sloter. The 24-year-old doesn't have the arm power of Jones, but has average numbers in his medium and deep throw accuracy, with his short accuracy rating being the only one below average. He also has a little extra value with his open field moves of 72 speed and 75 juke mood if you're not about that slide or go out of bounds like. He's a guy who needs a great offensive line in front of him to play at his peak, but since he's already decent in the accuracy department at the harder, longer throws, he has a little more upside starting out. At 8 is Chad Kelly. Kelly will have a decent speed rating of 80 with 84 acceleration but only 71 agility so trying to turn anything not in a straight line might be struggle with this dude. But having 80 throw on the run and 73 break sack rates gives Kelly a solid chance to extend plays for you. But also having 91 throw power like Slaughter which is decent, his accuracy will be the thing that needs attention the most. And being behind Keenum and Lynch on the depth chart, Kelly would definitely be a cheap option for you to grab. At 7 is Nathan Peterman. Despite throwing 5 picks in, what was it, his first 5 throws or something, Peterman was and still is a solid cheap QB to build up in Madden. And in 19, he'll have 91 throw power with 82 short throw accuracy, with slightly below average mid and deep throw numbers. He has a decent break sack rating as well, but his throw under pressure rating will have you making sure your offensive line is at least competent. And starting you will have to take advantage of his best accuracy rate being short, so your offense should feature a bunch of quick passes until you build them up further. At 6 is JT Barrett. Now the most athletic quarterback to be featured on the list so far is Barrett. Now you already know what it is when you use him. 82 speed, 87 acceleration, 76 agility. To go along with his 78 juke and 81 throw on the run. You're definitely going to want to be on the move with him, at least in the beginning because his throwing numbers aren't too great. Maybe even employ a little Ohio State-esque offense with read options or something so you're not forced to drop back and pick guys apart with a wildly inaccurate QB when his strengths are elsewhere. At number 5 is Kevin Hogan. One of my favorite QBs to get the last two years was Hogan just because despite not having a strong arm, he was a fairly accurate quarterback to build up. And now with the new ratings added to Madden this year, I found out he also has 79 break sack rate. So I'm going to fight the good fight again and add Hogan to this list because he's always been reliable for me whenever I roster him. Now at 4 is Joshua Dobbs. If you run an offense that uses QB runs, rollouts, and such, he's the number one QB I would get if you were on a budget. He's still only 23 years old, but has great numbers to work with. Let's start by mentioning the 84 speed, 88 excel, and 85 agility. But despite having poor accuracy, which is what you expect, he has a decent arm. Yet amazing open field moves for a QB. Heck, these would be good for a running back. 77 spin, 77 truck, and 86 juke makes him very tempted to never slide and try to get that extra 5 to 10 yards. His threat as a runner propels his average throwing numbers to give him a lot of value for cheap. Coming in at 3 is Mason Rudolph. We already know Big Ben isn't his biggest fan and for good reason. He probably seen Rudolph's Madden 19 ratings. 
Check it, he has 90 throw power and good starting accuracy numbers across the board with 83 short, 80 mid, and most importantly, 81 deep throw. The third round pick will come out the gate early and trust with his accuracy and on point deep balls. And his quick development gives him way more upside than most. At two is Deshaun Kaiser. The Browns might have wanted them because that's where really kind of stumped. But Madden Kaiser for the second straight year will be one of the best QBs in the game to build around. And he's only 22 years old. He has a big arm with his 95 throw power and above average throw on the run rating of 83. With a now added 78 break sack rate. He's not super fast, but he can break one if the lane is there. But excluding the big arm, Kaiser isn't really terrible in any category, as everything hovers around average, making him a solid, well-rounded guy to use. In fantasy dress, if you are, I'm gonna draft a QB kind of late owner. I would definitely take Kaiser and not look back. And of course, the team he's on in real life, I would definitely target him because he's a multi-year starter for you. And number one on our top 10 sleeper quarterbacks in Madden 19 is Kyle Lawletter. He's the most accurate QB on the list with 84 short, 82 mid, and 76 deep with decent throw power numbers, throw on the run, and throw under pressure. So he has the makings at 22 years old as a pure pocket passer. And with him being a quick potential, the 71 overall law letter could be a stud in short time. On a team with Ingram, Barkley, and Odell, Giants fans' best move would be to sit or cut Eli and start this guy ASAP to have their core all be 25 or under. He's average or above average in majority of categories and considering he's only 22 and so low rated, it makes sense why Lawletta, since the top sports gamers online, top 10 sleeper quarterbacks to grab in Madden 19. Sorry sports gamers, do you agree with the list? And if not, what's a quarterback that you feel deserved to make it? Let us know in the comments down below. And stay tuned here at Sports Gamers Online for more Madden 19 content and the next video in our series as we tackle the running backs. So make sure to subscribe if you haven't. And once you're with us, hit that bell icon at the bottom so you don't miss anything we put out. I'm Chris. Thank you all for watching. And be good.